Hey, it's Dr. Lisa here, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to shoot a quick video to tell you about why it's important to have your personal blog. Branding is important for anyone who's online, and writing your own personal blog is a perfect way to brand yourself. You need a personal blog if you want to tell the world about your unique talents and the value that you bring. Here are a few reasons why a personal blog is so important. First, it is your social resume that shows people what you can do and the value you bring. Your personal blog also allows you to show off your strengths. The second reason for owning a personal blog is that it helps keep you relevant. In order to establish an effective personal brand, you need to establish your expertise. Your blog shows that you're up to date on what is going on in your industry. A personal blog also builds trust. One purpose of branding is to build trust. People want to know who you are before they buy from you or hire you. Your consistency in your blog posts helps you build this trust. Another reason you need a personal blog is that it gives you an avenue of communication. You see, blogging is all about networking, communicating, and sharing interests with like-minded people. You can build relationships with other bloggers as well as with your subscribers. Image control is another huge factor in creating a personal blog. You have always heard the phrase, image is everything. Well, your blog is your home on the web. It can help you manage your reputation. Now, f a final reason that you need a personal blog is that it can tell your story. A compelling story is important in branding. It shows who you are and where you came from, and your blog gives you a chance to tell yours. Now, a question that often comes up to me is, what do you name your blog? The best name for your personal blog is just simply your own name. However, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. For one thing, if you use your name for your personal blog, you should be the only person writing the content. It's okay to ex occasionally accept a guest blog post, but the purpose of the blog is to sell you, not other writers. You shouldn't use your own name if the purpose of your blog is to sell products or services. For example, if you're going to do affiliate marketing, use something else for the name. Your personal blog should focus only on you. If you're using it to sell unrelated products, this will cause a disconnect for your readers. Oh, and one more thing to keep in mind is that you should only use your name if you plan to blog long term. If you think you may someday sell the blog, use something else. It's nearly impossible to sell a website with a person's name. Now that we've covered what you should name your blog, we need to talk about now is what should you write in your personal blog. When writing your personal blog, focus not on what you want the reader to talk about, but what your readers want to hear. Let me say that again. Focus not on what you want to talk about, but on what your readers want to hear. What would help them the most? Answer their questions and offer tips to help them with their problems. You might also post news about your industry or other topics that you know about. Try to focus your blog posts on getting some dialogue going. Ask questions or present arguments and encourage your readers to voice their opinions. You want to get as many people commenting as possible. Don't forget that the personal touch is what really sets a brand apart. This means that it's all right to sometimes write purely personal posts. You don't want your blog to be all about what you did today or how you feel about something you saw on TV, but it's good to let your human side come out. Your readers want your helpful advice, but they also like to know more about you as well. So that concludes this video, so I highly encourage you, if you haven't started a blog yet, get started today. We'll talk soon. Bye now.